Hey, hello everybody again. It's me, Elric Ferris, your host here at the motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, today we've got a kind of an interesting unboxing. Do you have a lot of HDMI devices at your house? Say you've got a video game, maybe your Apple TV, plus your DVD or Blu-ray player, and you know you gotta use like a whole bunch of remotes or change wires around to get to them? Well, that can be a real pain in the butt. So for people like you and me, we might use a switch that could actually switch between all of those. And for those, there's a company called A10. They're a new company to me, but they make a lot of KVM switches and a lot of stuff for people who interact with many devices at a time. Today, we're gonna to take a look at their HDMI matrix switch. The model number on this is the VMO404H. Now, this is basically an automated four port HDMI switch. Has a remote control, has a whole box that you can even mount in a rack. It's pretty professional looking. So let's check out today what comes in the box of the new HDMI matrix switch from our friends at A10. Okay, on this unboxing, I don't need any of my trusty knives because basically, oops, drop the dang tasty knife. All right, basically on this one though, you got a little tab. I'll show you guys here. This little tab pops open. And you pop open the top, and you pop open the top again. That's the beginning of it. That's what it is. Let's just see how the product comes from the market all inside. You can see how it comes all packaged. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this out of here. Pull the rest of the stuff out of here. Ace the box. So, on this one, we'll go backwards. I'll take a look at the unit itself today, and then we'll move on to its accessories. So I'm just going to hold this out here for you guys. I try to rip this stuff off of here, and then I'll begin to show you guys the unit. All righty. Pretty nifty. All righty then. Here's the front of the unit. Pretty nice looking. Side of the unit. You can see it's just like basically most pieces of stereo equipment or something that you have, like an old school equalizer. It's about the same size as that. Then we're going to flip around to the back where you can see all of the input and output connections. On the top bit, it says made by a company called Van Christ, or maybe that's the model thing. When you do the full review, I'll look into that further. It wasn't really a map, don't know what the Van Christ thing is. Maybe that's one of their manufacturing partners, but so there's the unit. Spin that out and set it down. And then here is the accessory packet. Not really much here to the accessory packet. We've got some rubber little feeties, nice bouncy rubber feeties for the bottom of that. Then we've got rack mounting stuff. So if you have a rack mount or whatever, you, these little things right here, and if you can see them, I'll go ahead and pull them out for the people who want to take a look. These are little rack mounting goodies, and I'll fit in any of your rack mounting devices, and accordingly screws that go with it as well. We've got the little power device for maintaining the power for it. Here are a few little guides, an HDMI matrix switch, a little user's manual, a quick setup guide, and some grounding things, I guess, is to keep the unit grounded if it has to work functional. And then last but not least, I have the remote control. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up, and pull it out of here. And you guys can see, it's a pretty simple remote control. All you do is click between the four different units and it automatically switches between them. And then if you pull this little switch out right here, there's a battery in it. And as soon as you pull this out, that activates it and makes it work. So thanks for watching the unboxing of this. This is the new A10. It's a good four port matrix switch for switching between all of your HDMI devices. So follow us along as we look at the full review next week and we'll see you here on YouTube.